Hello all. Let me brief you on yet another coupling reaction that is Kumada coupling. We have already discussed Hiyama coupling and Nagishi coupling reactions. Kumada coupling reaction was the first palladium or nickel catalyzed cross coupling reaction. It was uh, uh, published in the year 1972. Okay, the reaction was carried out in the year 1972. It was later on that the rest of the coupling reactions came out. Now, Kumada coupling reaction is the reaction between organohalides and Grignard reagent in the presence of nickel or palladium catalyst. So, the reaction between organohalide with Grignard reagent. Now, the general representation of Kumada coupling is this. You have the organohalide, you have the Grignard reagent, you get the coupled product CC bond is formed and usually the organohalide which is uh, taken is aryl or vinyl halide and the R group or the organic moiety in the uh, Grignard reagent is usually aryl, vinyl or alkyl and the reactivity of halides if you have a chloride group uh, as the halogen part in the Grignard reagent, the reaction is faster when compared to bromine and iodine. Now, uh, this Kumada coupling is uh, uh, preferred because, it, the, because of the high reactivity of uh, Grignard reagent and hence mild conditions only need to be given for the reaction to take place. We need not uh, provide high temperature or uh, any such drastic conditions since the Grignard reagent is highly reactive. Now, what are the, uh, there are a few advantages of uh, Grignard reagent. One, as I said earlier, uh, the uh, Grignard reagent is highly reactive. Uh, another advantage is that for uh, other coupling reactions, we need to prepare or synthesize an organometallic compound from Grignard reagent. So that step can be avoided here. We have the Grignard reagent directly and we directly can carry out the reaction. We need not go for another extra step of preparation of another organometallic compound. And also the reaction is highly economical. So these are the three advantages. Uh, reactivity, since there are, uh, Grignard reagent is highly reactive, it is, uh, uh, it can be, the reaction can be carried out in mild condition and then uh, we can skip a step unlike other coupling reactions of preparation of organometallic compound from Grignard reagent and the reaction is highly economical. But still, there are disadvantages also. Now, our Grignard reagent is having limited functional group tolerance. Okay, it is highly sensitive to mild acidic groups, even alcohols, uh, mild acidic groups like alcohols also are sensitive, I mean Grignard reagents are sensitive towards such uh, groups. Also to carbonyls and other oxidative groups. So, we have to be very choosy in choosing the uh, partners, reactive partners. Okay, that is particularly the organohalides when we choose. We must see that there are no, uh, we must uh, see that the uh, presence of uh, Grignard reagent sensitive groups are not there. Okay, so the reaction will be limited to uh, little amount of uh, or little amount of halide partners now uh, but still even though the this is a disadvantage kumada coupling is employed in many synthetic applications like industrial production of styrene derivatives production of polythiophenes etc now these are two examples which i have taken to show you the Kumada coupling reaction. Now here you have the uh, Grignard reagent wherein the organic moiety is the aryl group and here you have the alkyl, I mean sorry, organohalide, okay, another aryl group. So here you get uh, diaryl group. 
all right so this is possible using kumada couple you can prepare by aryl compounds okay you here you you can see here uh, the palladium catalyst and uh, see the room uh, the reaction condition that is a only a mild condition is used that is the reaction can be carried out at room temperature or to the maximum of only 50 degrees centigrade and the reaction time is also very less 45 to 240 minutes now similarly in another uh, this is another reaction here wherein you have the aryl halide and uh, an aryl magnesium bromide another grignard reagent uh, you get uh, uh, and a uh, uh, biaryl compound now here also you can see the reaction condition it's only 25 degrees centigrade that is required the temperature but the reaction takes 15 hours so such mild conditions are enough to carry out kumada reaction or kumada coupling reaction now let us see the mechanism or the catalytic loop of kumada coupling now, the catalytic loop of Kumada coupling is similar to our uh, 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 the catalytic loop of any uh, coupling reaction which we had discussed. Now, here you have the first step, the oxidative addition, followed by transmetallation step, followed by cis trans isomerization, then reductive elimination. In oxidative addition, the uh, alkyl halide or the organohalide compound is reacted with the palladium catalyst and the pal palladium or nickel catalyst and the catalyst gets inserted or added between the organo part and halide part. Then is the transmetallation step wherein the organic moiety linked to the magnesium metal gets transferred from magnesium to the nickel or palladium. Okay, so the halogen part attached to the nickel or the palladium is removed and there is replaced by the alkyl moiety from the or uh, organic moiety from the Grignard reagent. This is then followed by cis trans isomerization wherein there is a small rearrangement of the groups attached to the nickel or palladium and then the reductive elimination wherein the or uh, organic compound is formed where the mu cc bond carbon carbon bond is formed and the nickel catalyst or the palladium catalyst is regenerated in during oxidative addition the catalyst the oxidation state of the catalyst moves from zero to plus two and in reductive elimination the uh, oxidation state is retained that is from plus two to zero so this is the catalytic loop or the mechanism of Kumada coupling. It's very simple. Now coming to the synthetic applications of Kumada coupling, as I had mentioned earlier, Kumada coupling is widely used for the synthesis of styrene and its derivatives. Okay, so this is one example wherein uh, we, are, we can prepare styrene. See, you, you have the aryl magnesium bromide, you have the vinyl chloride in the presence of nickel catalyst. Room temperature and 24 hours time, you get styrene to 89%. So that is a very good uh, reaction and very good yield also. Now the reaction is preparation of trans still bean. So here also, the uh, uh, you are using aryl magnesium bromide and a beta bromostyrene as the organohalide part. Okay, and here also the reaction uh, is carried out in at room temperature. All right, so you get trans still B. Another synthetic application is the synthesis of diflunisal, a uh, non steroidal anti inflammatory drug. Now, in diflunisal, you have, you need to get two aryl parts coupled together. So, here they are using a magnesium brom, aryl magnesium bromide and an, uh, another halide, halide group, aryl halide. And uh, uh, this is, this is, it is here that the Kumada coupling is uh, happening. And then after following a few more steps, you get diflunisal. Now you can see, observe here, there is a presence of bromine and two fluoride groups in the halo organohalide 
compound and it's only the bromine which has been replaced okay it is only the bromine which has been replaced by the uh, organic moiety in the Grignard reagent so this shows the reactivity of a bromine when compared to fluorine so bromine can be easily removed fluorine remains intact so this uh, uh, is uh, the synthesis of diflunisal. Now, another one more synthesis we can say, and that is the synthesis of AG341. It is a, an enzyme inhibitor, thymidylate synthase inhibitor. Now, here again, here you can see this, this is the uh, halogen part in the organohalide group, and CH3MGBR is the Grignard reagent used and the iodine is removed and the methyl group is inserted. Alright, so that's another application of Kumada coupling. Now this is another very important application of Kumada coupling that is synthesis of thionyl benzene. It's a semiconducting polymer and uh, it is used in OLEDs that is uh, organic light emitting di uh, diodes and also fo in photovoltaics. Now similarly, we can also synthesize polythiophenes. So, he so here uh, the alkyl organohalide group taken has three halogen groups on it, iodide group. All the three iodide groups are replaced by the thiophene part. Okay, in a similar way we can also synthesize polythiophenes. Alright, so these are the synthetic applications of uh, uh, Kumada coupling. So if you have any more clarifications to be uh, done, please do, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.